Aloha Ecamm family, guess what? Ecamm Live 3.10 has just dropped and Ecamm Live 3.10 comes with the ability to multi-stream through one stream. I'm gonna run you through a quick setup and demo and show you how it all works. Let's dive right in. First, you'll notice here in Ecamm, right about down here, I just click on my destination. I come down to one stream live. Now you see there's a big blue button that allows me to stream to one stream. Let me show you how to set this up. It is super dope and super easy. Here we are at one streams page and you'll see it basically allows you to stream to multiple locations and you can do it with either pre-recorded videos or live videos. What you need to do is come over set yourself up an account, log in and you'll end up to a dashboard that looks like this. This is my dashboard. This is where everything is. Now to decide where you want to stream to, you want to pop over here to the side and click on accounts. As you can see, I have my YouTube channel, the Ecamm Live beta group, the Ecamm Live Facebook group, and then also my Let's Get Live Facebook community. If I wanted to add an additional destination, I would just click add account. As you can see here, they have lots of options for you to go to your pages, your groups, your profiles, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, custom RTMPs like Amazon Live. There's a lot of things in here so you can just sort of pick whatever you need. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and create an event. So I'm gonna click on the plus and say I wanna create a real-time stream. You're gonna get a pop-up that comes up and it says if you would like to do now or schedule an event. I'm gonna go ahead and say schedule an event First thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is to change the thumbnail. So I'm gonna click on that there. Let's see, I gotta have a good one right here. Put in a title, pop in a description. I'm not gonna worry about tags. It's gonna tell me when do I want this to occur. Now, very important, because I have Facebook selected as an option, I need to give it like a 10 or 15 minute window, okay? so. I can't go at this exact time. Facebook is weird like that. I'm gonna go ahead and jump this up to say 55. Then that way Facebook will accept it. I'm gonna go ahead and press how I want my thing to be, public, private, or friends only. I'll just leave it at public for now. I can always delete these things. And then I'll go ahead and say, add my destinations. So it's gonna give me options. Let's say I pick my YouTube channel, my Let's Get Live group, and the Ecamm beta group. Those are my options I'm gonna to select today. I'm gonna to go ahead and press confirm. And then now, as you see, my page is set up and ready to go. All we're gonna to need to do is go back over to Ecamm, press the go live button, which is why you see no video signal showing now. And then once I'm ready, I can slide this over. So if I wanna test to make sure everything is working, we're gonna hop back over to the Ecamm page real quick. You'll see right there in the center, I have go ahead and stream to one stream live. It's gonna do a little spiraling and thinking. And then now it's fully connected. I have a shortcut that pops up that tells me that I wanna send this tweet. I'll go ahead and cancel that shortcut. <laughs> That's another video. And then now we'll jump back over to one stream and wait for the incoming signal. So we're here at one stream is analyzing the, the input that I'm sending it right now. And as it does that, you'll see that I am set up and ready to go. So all I have to do when I'm ready to go live is just come down here to the bottom and press on this little bitty button down here that says go live. Let's just do it. Let's go live. It's gonna remind me that I'm starting my event earlier. I'll go ahead and say start. And now it's popping over. As you can see, it is populating my one live stream. Once we jump over to our Facebook and to uh, YouTube, Let's go take a look at this real quick. If I look over here on my YouTube channel dashboard, you'll see that it's live now, so I can view this in a control room. A few moments later. Also, if I come over here to Facebook and click onto my community, I should be able to see that I am live there. Let me jump over into the Ecamm beta group real quick. So as you can see, I am live both here in the Ecamm beta group, and it is also live on YouTube. 
Now with one stream, you can go directly to multiple locations from Ecamm just by a very simple setup process. It's super easy to do. Again, what's really cool about this, you can always check on your dashboard and get a look to see how everything is going. It's showing you what you're connected to. It tells you that your platforms are YouTube and Facebook. It tells you that it is a live event. Once again, make sure you jump over to the OneStream page, set up your account. Once you have your account set up, you're gonna jump over, look on your accounts here that you wish to add. If there's a page that you wanna add, just go through the setup process there. Each one is gonna be different according to the platforms. And once you've done that, you just pop down to create event and you can decide whether you wanna do a recorded stream or a real-time stream. One thing to know, right now, there are no comments when multi-streaming with one stream, but that's not an Ecamm thing, that's a one stream thing. So if you want comments, you gotta send an email to one stream. See, that was pretty simple, that was very easy. If you wanna get started with one stream right now, we have links down in the description, so make sure you check it out. Now the algorithm is gonna show you two more videos that think you should watch, and we absolutely agree with them.